Hello, I'm Caitlin Jenkins, the Family Law Vlogger, and today on the vlog, as part of Mills and Reeves Children Law Awareness Week, we're introducing you to different colleagues in our specialist children team. So today I'm joined by Naomi. Naomi Shelton, welcome to the vlog. Thanks, Caitlin. So tell me a little bit about your experience and the sort of work that you do, Naomi. Yes, of course. So I'm a senior associate and in the family law department at Mills and Reeve and I trained at the firm and I've been working in the family law department for six and a half years now, qualified six years. And I work in all areas of family law, wealth preservation and specifically now with an interest in conflicted private children law. And, and what is it about the children work that is important to you? Well, it's very important to me because, put simply, it's so important to our clients and their families. And indeed, it's really important to the family legal system and the judges um, that spearhead the system. And not only in private children proceedings, but in lots of different types of family law proceedings, the welfare needs and best interests of the children are paramount. So it's a priority for us. Absolutely. And so I know you do the full range of, of family work and children work, but in particular, what sort of cases have you had particular expertise of, of recently? Yes, I do. So with my colleagues in the children law team at Mills and Reeve, we specialise in all areas of children law and specifically conflicted, highly conflicted children cases. And I have most recently uh, been involved in a number of specific issue uh, cases or specific issue applications before the family court and these very much do what they say on the tin they are specific issues that parents for whatever reason have not been able to agree between themselves or with the assistance of dispute resolution lawyers or a solicitor like myself and therefore the decisions the issues are so important that the family court is asked to adjudicate and provide the decision so they can often be urgent issues that have to be before the court and um, for example where the children might go to school where the children might go to nursery and um, any medical requirements that the parents can't agree with agree about and the child might be of an age where actually that decision is still with the parents and of course the court is there to assist families where this level of conflict would just continue without a determination um, and the court can work very creatively with the lawyers and the parties to come to the right conclusion to make sure that the needs of the children are prioritised. Um, and, for example, creative resolution can be in the form of how can children be assisted by other specialist family law and children law professionals, such as therapists and um, other types of children professionals who can provide more holistic support to a family. So we look both inside the family legal system and the courtroom, but also very much what will suit each family individually. And given that these decisions, these specific issue decisions have to be made on what's in the best interest of the child. So um, hence it's a broader look, isn't it? That's really helpful, Naomi, because those specific issue applications cover such a wide range of things, as you've said, from health and education and all sorts of, of other areas and are often very important and well, very important, but often very urgent as well. So as always with the Family Law Blog, if you have specific questions about certain circumstances that you're in or need particular advice, then please do contact Naomi, whose details will be underneath this blog, as will the details of the rest of the Mills and Reeve children and family team and our children experts. But for now, thank you very much. Thanks, Caitlin.